This video is to show you how to send crypto from CoinZoom to your Exodus wallet. In particular, it's going to show you how to send USDT, ERC20, and Ethereum to your Exodus wallet. Now, just as a note, anytime you're sending USDT from somewhere, whether it's a wallet or exchange, it doesn't matter which app you're using. It's not just Coinbase, Coin, um, I mean, it's not just CoinZoom, it's Coinbase, um, your Exodus wallet, Trust wallet, um, any wallet or any exchange that you're sending from, you always need to have the network's coin in your wallet in order to cover the transaction fees. For instance, if you're sending USDT, like here, I'm gonna click on the amount to show you the next screen. Whenever you're sending, I'm gonna press the send button here. It's telling you only send USDT Tether to this address on the Ethereum network. Sending any other digital asset will result in permanent loss. This goes for any coin. But since we're sending on the Ethereum network, there are multiple networks you can send USDT on, depending on which type you're, you're holding. Um, USDT ERC20 is for the Ethereum network. TRC20 is for the Tron network. BEP20 is for the Binance network. So we're now that we're clear with all of that, in order to send, um, and you can click understand, you need to have a wallet address that is receiving this USDT ERC20. So if I go to my Exodus wallet here, I can click at the top USDT and I'm gonna be receiving the coins here. So I wanna click this receive button. And when I click that, it's gonna show you down here, hey, which type are you receiving? Again, very important. We're receiving the one on the Ethereum network. So we are gonna click here and you'll see this little icon show up next to it at the top up here after I click that. So I click that, it's gonna ask you, do you understand? This is on the Ethereum network, you say yes and continue. So now you see the Ethereum network icon shows up and it shows you your address. You click there and at the bottom it says copied to clipboard. So you go back to CoinZoom and here is where you would put that wallet address. But CoinZoom, they don't let you just um, paste it in there. It has to already be added to the whitelist. I already have it down here at the bottom, but for the point of newbies who may not have that already, you would click here where it says add address. And then you make sure that you click, this is a wallet address, this is not a Zoom me address. And you click here and you paste what you just copied over from Exodus, making sure that the last couple of characters matched what you saw on Exodus. And if you don't remember, you can always toggle over and see it there. Mine ends in 907C, and if I come back to CoinZoom, this ends in 907C. And I want to make sure that I click Ethereum network because we're sending USDT ERC20 on the Ethereum network. Here, you'll type whatever you want to call this, Exodus um, USDT ERC20, and I'm going to put... Um, demo or something because I already added this but I want to go through for completeness and you click submit okay add it successfully so now what I would do is I can click on this one at the bottom that I just added that says demo and it's added now to the top saying this is where it's being sent and in the amount section I know that I had like eight dollars and 75 cents worth and I click fee deduction, I can, you can click to come from the amount or the account. I always click the account because if you're sending an amount for something and you're telling them take my fees from the amount that I'm trying to send, 
Say for instance, you're trying to send a hundred dollars worth worth of USDT. It's going to take the fee away from that $100. So whatever lands in the receiving wallet address is not going to be the amount. So I'm going to say to take it from my account and I'm going to press send. And then it gives you an overview here. You're sending about $9 over to this address that you indicated here. You're paying with Tether and the fee um, is coming from the account and the withdrawal fees are 12.5 USDT. Now, as you can see, or maybe you don't remember, I only had $8.75 worth in my account. So I do not have enough for these withdrawal fees. So when I press send, it's gonna tell me, well, first it's gonna say, hey, give us an authenticator and you have to go over to your authenticator, which hopefully you've already downloaded from Google, making sure that the timer has not already gone down and quickly paste this in here and put continue. Insufficient funds. So we already knew that, but guys, this is me showing you going through the motions. I'm not gonna move crypto into this wallet just for CoinZoom to charge me 12.75 worth um, to do this video. But after you did that, it would have sent to Exodus. And then depending on whatever you're doing, um, if, you, if you're gonna leave it over there, you don't have anything left to do. But if you're gonna have to transfer that somewhere else and you don't have Ethereum in your Exodus wallet, now you would have to go to Ethereum and do the same exact thing. Go to send, it says, hey, do you know you're on the Ethereum network? Yes, I already know that. You would go to Exodus, and I already have the address here, but I'm just showing you for, again, completeness as a beginner. You would click on Ethereum here, and then you do the same thing. I'm receiving Ethereum, so what is my receive address? I understand this is the Ethereum network. Continue, and then here we are the address. The address actually happens to be the same because it is the Ethereum network for USDT. They usually have the same address, but again, you would click copy. You would go back over to CoinZoom. You would add address. I already have it and we already saw it. it's the same exact thing. Change it to wallet address. Click here type, um, paste your address, name it whatever you want to, and submit. But again, since I already have it here, I can just click, I want my Exodus wallet. Um, I want the amount to be, um, oh, and this is in Ethereum. It's not in dollars. So you would have had to already know what amount of Ethereum you're trying to um, send. Say that you want it to come from the account press send and again it shows you this you're sending about two dollars and this i've already done the calculation the ethereum at the time of this video is around eighteen hundred dollars so that times this 0 0.015 it equals around 27 dollars i only i only have eight dollars and 75 cents worth in my account so this is not going to go through but this again is to show you guys each little step that may um, either cancel or you know not have your um, transaction go through because you need to have everything in place. So as I'm telling you, I don't have $27 plus in my account. So this transaction is not gonna go through. Send now. It wants you to put in your authenticator. Again, hopefully you've downloaded the authenticator. And I just want to note here, the timer is going down. So I'm going to wait for the new number when I have a full timer. And then I'm going to <clears throat> press and hold to copy and paste this number. Go back over here, paste that number in there. And here, as I already told you, is going to say ins insufficient funds. But if I had, let's say, if I had 30 bucks in here, it would have gone through and it would have gone to my Exodus wallet. But I wanted to go through the motions to show you how you actually send USDT and how you send Ethereum because anytime you send USDT, you need have to send whichever network coin um, it's being sent on. You need to have that in your wallet as a transaction fee. 
And I wanted to show you that if you don't have the proper amount of whichever coin that um, that particular exchange use, uses for fees, then it's not going to let the transaction go through. So I hope you've learned something from this video and um, you are now able to successfully send crypto from your CoinZoom to your Exodus wallet.